Afternoon, guys. Mark here. It's a bit of a, uh, it's a uh, I'm doing a VR for Lance Northwoods Piper, who's hit his 100 subscriber mark. So, congratulations, Lance. And I do a few uh, welcomes for new subscribers. Dave, Piper Companion, welcome to the channel. Um, the latest one is Bed Bender Bud, who joined 17 hours ago. And I got four who joined a day ago, which is Matt RVA, Cyclops FPV, the Night, the Night Piper, and Jody Wolf. So, welcome to all you gentlemen. Hope you enjoy the channel. And three days ago, I had Pete number two joined channel so wish you all a very warm welcome gentlemen right the VR I said Lance has asked us about our favorite pipe and our favorite tobacco I mean my favorite tobacco is one I can get hold of pretty pretty easily it's an aromatic and it's one of the, the ones I've started for when I started smoking which is Gareth and Hogarth's Caribbean coconut really enjoy that blend there's quite a few blends now that I'm enjoying but that's my go-to blend and uh, my favorite pipe is this little stubby and it's my favorite pipe because it's uh, when I smoke this I think of me my mate Pipe Monkey Gary which I want to thank for because he sent me some tobacco yesterday and, he, and what I've got in this something I've been after for a long time it's actually Boswell's Christmas cookie which is a, a, very, a very mild aromatic like I said, I'm not going to go into uh, what I'm tasting, nuances and stuff, because the palate's crap. So, just in case smoke it and whether I enjoy it or not. Uh, he sent me, yeah, so he sent me a real good uh, baggie of uh, Boswell's cookie, Christmas cookie. And he's also sent me a bag of, uh, which I give it to him, <laughs> but if I give it to him and I think he's giving me back, he doesn't like it. Uh, is a uh, Caribbean coconut, which I've now let's get the same in the jar, so I'm actually running out of that. So, thank you, Gary, appreciate that, my friend. And he also sent me um, what looks like a dog turd. I did try this yesterday, it's one I've been wanting to try for a long time. I haven't got down to it, and you can see it's a big, uh, a big piece of. Uh, Black Irish twist, which is supposed to be a real strong tobacco, but I didn't find it. I didn't find it that strong. Yeah, it's a bit smoky, spicy, but yeah, they went down rather well actually. I was expecting it to be giving me a bit of a bit more of a kick, but yeah, went down rather well. So that's my tobacco. Favorite pipe, like I said, because this was made for me by Simon at LCS. This little stubby with his fabulous. Cumberland stem on. Don't know whether the camera's going to pick it because the sun's shining on this side. So it's a black, black and red Cumberland. Beautiful little pipe. And uh, and why I like this so much because it's made out of one piece of wood. And we had two pipes exactly the same. I had them commissioned for Gaddy's birthday. And uh, it's like a brother's pipe because he's my best mate. And uh, yeah, so when I smoke this, I think of my mate Gaddy. Hope he's okay. And uh, I just got to try and relight it now. And of course, now using the new tunnel take lighter. I don't think he's got the camera's going to pick it up. But it's the honest lighter with the uh, tools built in. So that's my VR to Lance. So uh, congratulations again, sir. And uh, Northwoods Piper. So if you're not subscribed to him, go and check him out. Go and give him a sub. Let's get his thumbs up there higher. And uh, thank you for the new uh, subscribers who have joined. And I can't wait to see Gaddy. He's, we've arranged him to come down in December. 
obviously as he's a full time carer it's a bit hard for him to get time away it'll be good to see him and have a bit of a chin wag as we know pipes change our favourite pipes change you know a lot of people say the favourite pipe you got is the one currently smoking It's actually been a good few weeks since I smoked this pipe. Need to smoke it more. That's you know, one of the few clenches I've got. But people who do watch my channel regular and now know I've started going towards the the larger pipes. You know, because I just like I just like a bigger pipe. The the, the feel it the feels better in the hand. Now I'm talking it down. 50, 50 mil plus and I've only got one at the moment which is my architect which is a, uh, a Mr. Brog pipe which is number 307 if anybody's interested they're on uh, Cigars Limited I don't know if uh, they are available in the States so you check out your local B&M or wherever you purchase your stuff from I think that's a, it's an acacia, I think it's an acacia, acacia wood mine, I think. But it smokes fine, it's a great little, great pipe. I can't say little pipe, but it's it's a big, chunky pipe. And uh, yeah, I love it. And I think that's, you know, that's where I'm going. I'm going to go look for the, um, the larger pipes now. Like I said, look, this Christmas cookie, a lot of people have, uh, on tobacco reviews say it takes a lot of relights and stuff like that. It leaves a little dot in the, in the bottom of the bottom of the bowl. Uh, sort of coming to the end of this at the moment. If, at the moment, no problems. It feels okay. Like I said, it's a very, very mild aromatic. Christmas cookie, I expected a little bit more to it actually. I'm not getting any spices or uh, ginger or you know, fruits like raisins and stuff, or red fruits, plums, and anything like that. The only thing I'm getting on the nose, the last, that. Uh, Mild vanilla, vanilla tip, you know. There seems to be a lot of Cavendish in here. A lot of black, a few Virginias by the look of it. But, uh, yeah, so, that's, that's just my thoughts on it. Very mild, aromatic. Boswells. supposed to do very good aromatics that's something that's, that's what they're good at apparently so we'll have to check out a few more go and check out and see what else they've got in their armory so as it is see what takes me fancy let me try out a few of the others and I uh, yeah, just want to say uh, sorry to Jim Pipe Hooligan uh, we had a bit of a as we know we had a bit of issues with the uh, samples he sent me. Not my fault, not his fault, so no one to blame there, Jim. So don't knock yourself too, uh, too much, mate, I told you. It's just one of them things. As you know, I was looking forward to trying them blends. But, uh, you know, shit happens sometimes. This is just, I think this pipe, this uh, bowl's just about had it. Just a little bit in the bottle. I'm sure it can get a bit harsh, this uh, Christmas cookie. 
Man United at the end of the ball. So guys, I'll leave you there for now. I wish you all the best. Take care everybody. Sweet smokes. And I'll catch you on the next one.